Come in. Look, you've got him all excited. Come in. Are you all right, Rosa? You look a little preoccupied. I'm fine. That's odd. Moti never acts like that. Oh, jeez. In case you haven't noticed, some animals can sense me. Are you getting a good look, Mutt? Boo! What's gotten into you, Moti? I'm sorry, he must be sick or something. It's all right. Could I feed Moti another treat? Sure. Here, take another. I have plenty. You said yesterday that you sense things. Yes. Could you tell me more about that? Well, I'm not psychic or anything, if that's what you mean. I'm just observant. Anyone could tell something was wrong if they kept their eyes open. Speaking of which, care to tell me what's wrong? What do you mean? You look ill at ease, uncomfortable. The way your eyes keep moving back and forth. Is everything all right? Say you're fine, kid. I'm fine. Yep, everything's just dandy. Just dandy. And could you stop looking at me? I mean, I know it's hard. I see. Well, I'm here if you need me. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. Okay, I put the pills in the dog biscuit. Come on, boy. Go get it. Oh, Moti, now? I just took you out an hour ago. Well, you're going to have to wait. I have my hands totally full. Unless... Rosa, would you mind taking Moti for a walk? If you're going to be friends, this is a good opportunity for you to bond. Oh, sure. I don't mind at all. Thank you so much. Moti gets cranky when he doesn't get his way. Just take him to the park until he goes. It shouldn't take long. Right. Here you go, boy. You're drugging innocent dogs now? It's only a mild diuretic. It won't hurt him. And you're the one in such a damn hurry. All right. Point taken. Hey there, bright eyes. It's me again. Are... are you him? No, I'm not, but I've brought some friends. Say hi to the kids, sweetheart. Um, hi. I don't, I don't think, think she, she wants to see me. Sure she does. Go on, kid, tell Ellie how much you want to see her. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Great to meet you. See? I don't, I don't believe you. you. It doesn't matter if you believe me or not. She needs your help. Help? See the dog over there? The Boston, Boston Terrier? Terrier? Good, good, you know your breeds. This Boston Terrier is not feeling too well. I was hoping that you could take a look at him. I... Yes. Yes, yes I can. can. I know I a lot about, about dogs. dogs. So we heard. That's why we came to you. But... but they won't they let me help, help them. them. They, they always, always run, run away. away. This one won't. Go on. The dog needs you. So this is your dog, huh? Um, yeah, sort of. Hi, little guy. What's your name? <laughs> right. Aren't you the cutest little thing? Hmm, your ears look okay. No signs of inflammation. Now I'm just going to open your mouth. That's... odd. I don't feel any breath. I don't feel anything. I... Oh. I'm sorry. I remember. I'm dead. Yep. I killed myself. I had no choice. Can you tell us what happened? My friends and I, we played a game. A Ouija board. We thought it would be fun. And you called something? Yes. 
he called himself the deacon. It's kind of hazy now, but I remember his voice in my head, screaming. What did he say? I don't know. It didn't make any sense. He just kept asking me to help him, but he wouldn't say how. I tried ignoring him, but he just got louder and louder until I took the pills and- Shh. It's over now. I know. So what now? Now? Now, we're going to send you where you need to go. Here, take this and hold on tight. You ready? I guess so. Good. Now pull. Yeah, you and me both. Ow. Hello? Yeah, hi! I'm not sure if we've met. I'm Rosangela. I know! You brought the dog to me! You brought me back to my senses. And then you brought me here. Thanks so much! So, are you ready to... well, you know. Am I ready to die? Well, yeah. Sorry, I'm kinda new at this. That's okay. I'm gonna make it easy for you. Just tell me what to do. Just head towards that light. The light. Right. Like every cliche in the book. You think I'll see Joanne over there? I'm not sure it works like that, but anything is possible. Well, either way, I'm glad it's over. And hey, you'll make sure Susan's okay, right? Sure. Well, here goes. See ya. See ya. Ugh. You're awake. That didn't take too long. She just... went. She seemed happy about it. Yeah, sometimes you'll get easy ones. The ones who are all too happy to move on. Others... well, you'll see. Anyway, let's get this dog back before your neighbor calls the police. Our work is not over yet. She is so going to kill me. Just a minute! Oh! Oh, there you are! I was just about to go to bed. I'm sorry we took so long. Not to worry. Did you have fun, Moti? Did you have fun? Of course. Well, good night, Rosa. Thanks again for helping me out. Strange lady. Psst, Joey! What do you want, sweetheart? Can you tell me more about Auntie Lauren? I guess. She was a tough lady. Stubborn. Smoked like a chimney. Anything else? Later, kid, later. Let's get through this first. Can you tell me more about- Your aunt was... She was tough. Always ready to pick a fight. Wouldn't take guff from nobody. We got on famously. So you liked her? Liked her? Hell. Sure, I liked her. She was the first person in ten years who was willing to talk to me. She didn't scream or run away. And she certainly didn't swoon like some people. Shut up. She just looked right at me and said, Oh, that was it. That was all I needed to hear. So what happened after that? What is this, an interrogation? Cut it with the questions, kid, you're bothering me. We'll talk about this later. Can you tell me- I guess. What do you want to know? I don't know. Um, tell me about a case you went on. Hmm. It was a long time ago, but I do remember one. There was this brownstone down in Brooklyn. One of those fancy houses that got converted into apartments. The residents kept complaining of weird noises and bad dreams. Your aunt and I heard about it and went over there. Turns out, these two little boys had been locked in a basement closet over 30 years beforehand. The door was paved over. Nobody knew it was even there. 
Those two little ghosts had been crying in the dark for 30 years until we came along. That's horrible. Yeah, that, that was a messy one. How did you save them? We did some snooping, found the grandmother, brought her to the house. The boys calmed down and we took care of the rest. So you saved them? Yeah. We had no choice, did we? Do you remember when that picture was taken? Picture? Yeah, the one on the TV. Oh, the Brooklyn Bridge picture. You don't remember? I was five years old. Right, right. You tend to forget stuff like that when you're... Well, when you're me. So what about the picture? Oh, it was just one of your aunt's little field trips. One of many, I hasten to add. She wanted to take you all over the damn city and I could do nothing but tag along. Really? Yeah. I knew it was a bad idea. Why is that? Just leave it. But... Shut your mouth, kid. You're attracting flies. We'll talk about this later. Maybe. Let's talk some more- Like I said, we've got- What was my grandmother like? Old Patty Cake was a real bundle of laughs. Patty Cake? Yeah, your grandmother. Her name was Patricia, right? So you get Pat, Patty, Patty Cake. You really called her Patty Cake? Yeah, that really hacked her off. Come to think of it, just about everything I did hacked her off. Like what? Like... Uh, forget it. Ask me later. Why did she hate you so much? Because I ruined her perfect little life. She had the nice house, the supportive hubby, the two kids, and then I come along. Yeah, you have a way of ruining peaceful lives. Hmm. Anything else? Nah, I'm done talking about her. Ask me again later. I'd like to talk about my grandmother again. I'll be frank, kid. She may have hated me, but I hated her even more. Hated her. The whole seven months I was with her, she spent the whole time pretending I wasn't there. Can you believe that? You're hard to ignore, Joey. <laughs> Tell me about it. And I did everything I could to get her attention. I'd yell in her ear, I'd get right up in her face. She knew I was there, and I knew she knew. But she just ignored me all the same. Well, you can hardly blame her. Don't lecture me, dollface. I did what I had to. Had to? You could have... Could have done what? Look, I'm done talking about that old bat. Maybe we'll talk more later, but not now. I'd like to talk about my grandmother again. Don't you let up. You destroyed her life. Yeah, yeah, I got enough of that from your aunt. Hey! Oh, shut up. You Blackwells and your goddamn self-pity. All I hear is, poor us, poor us, I'm sick of it. Ever think about what it was like for me? One minute I was breathing, and the next, pow, dead. I was a ghost, forced to haunt a complete stranger. I had no idea what was going on. You'd think that someone up there would have told me what to do, but no. I was dead, cold, alone, and scared out of my mind. Nobody could see me. Nobody could hear me. Nobody except old Patty Cakes Blackwell, and she didn't want to admit I was there. So don't you dare lecture me, sweetheart. You don't know from nothing. I... Forget it. Let's just concentrate on the case. I'd like to talk... I said we'll... T now we got stuck. Joey, you're in this photograph. Oh, so I am. That was Jack and Maria's wedding. My parents? Yeah. Can you tell me anything about this picture, Joey? Oh, yeah. I remember this. This was taken about 40 years ago. Your grandmother insisted on it. So that's my grandmother? Yep. And that's my dad? And Auntie Lauren? In the flesh. Why were you at the wedding? Because your aunt insisted on going. And I go where she goes. I could have talked her out of it, but she put her foot down. Tough lady, your aunt, when she needed to be. You don't look very happy in this picture. That's because I wasn't. There was a spirit trapped in an alley down in Chinatown. A little girl, five years old. Lost and confused and needing our help. But did your aunt want to solve the case? No. Going to the wedding was important, she said. More important. Can you imagine? I don't know. Can you tell me anything else about the wedding? I don't know. There was music. The bride wore white. It was over 30 years ago. Just because I'm dead doesn't mean my memory is perfect. What were you doing in this picture? Being ignored, as usual. Real strong believer in denial, that woman. Do you remember anything else about that day? It was over 40 years ago, doll. Stupid hair and ugly sweaters, that's all I remember. I'd like to talk about- I said- well, Now we got- I think I've- Yeah, let's get going. You coming? Yeah, sure. <laughs>